On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan, a blessed and wonderful Sunday morning to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. Now you don't know my peeps how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So for those who traverse into church on this blessed morning, please remember On The Spot News Media's viewers, subscribers, all members of Jan Public and members of the Diaspora in your immediate prayers because you don't know we need that now more than ever. Yeah man, may I tell you. So watch this now, my peeps. Before me get into this morning's blog, me see a cartoon in the paper and boy, me just have to show it because just as I spoke about divine intervention and we need prayers more than ever, I saw the cartoon come up. So me I say, yo, definitely I forgot to share this with John Public because the country in a serious sinkhole. Now look at this cartoon. The Prime Minister is there sitting on his bed and saying that, Lord, I have tried. The leader of the opposition is down on his knees begging for divine intervention. Members of John Public, you don't know, have the hangman rope and all these things. I said the justice system sell out. And in my school, the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition has said, Stop, spear the rod, and spoil the child. When time we are growing up, you know, we used to hear that nothing. You know. And every time we hear that, we don't know what come right after that. I want bigly cross your back with a big broad belt and keep you in line. So basically, that is what members of John Public are tell the leaders of the country. Stop, spear the rod, and spoil the child. Do the honorable thing. It might not be the popular thing to do, you know. But do the honorable thing. And put stringent measures in place to curtail crime and violence that is wreaking havoc in our country. So watch this now, my peeps. To the name Sunday. You don't know, say, a red rice and roaster day today. <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you. So we are going to do a follow-up story from yesterday morning's blog. You remember we spoke about those three persons who end up get fling down in the Kingston Central Police Division within a 24-hour span. The two men them we get dash up on the roadside out of the white pro box and the female we get slapped with a couple hours after up in a Fletcher's land, the top part, a Mark Lane, this up. So we never get to identify the next man we get dash down, we get to identify one of the men. But for those who see the video of the two men them will get dash out at the pro box right at the intersection at King Street and North Street right there. So that same incident that we are talking about. So yesterday we identified the one we lie down to the left. We never get to identify the one we have on the backpack on his shoulder. So we are going to talk about the one that had on the backpack on his shoulder right now. So that person in question, the deceased, has been identified as Carl Jones, otherwise Carl Zoko, from the Denham Town area. He is a security guard employed to the Mackay Security Company. Up until that horrific night when he met his demise, he was working at the KFC on Whole Hope Road. Everybody know where the KFC is there. So what took place the day before? He met his demise. In fact, the morning before he met his demise is that he was at work doing his regular duties as usual when a Rasta man, the so-called Dan man, or one of the so-called strong men that resides and runs the Banana Pen Lane. Everybody know where that lane is up that side and everybody know who on the spot news media is talking about at this moment. So that man decides say he come to KFC, come buy some chicken. A Rasta man, you know. Yeah, man, note. And the security guard would have told him that, listen, due to certain protocols you don't know since the whole issue with the spreading of you know what, 
most restaurants now do no whole heap of dining like that again. So that was pointed out to the man. And the man decides, say, yo, him are the general. So the man can tell him, say, he can't sit down in a KFC and eat a piece of chicken. But the security guard was adamant that he have to follow the protocol and basically fall in line like everybody else. So him decides, say, that not going to work. And it caused a little friction between the security guard and the so-called Dan. So the so-called Dan did nothing more than spit upon the security guard. Yeah, man, may I tell you, say, the man just hark and twing in the security guard face. So, of course... No man naga just take that, so regardless of who you may be. So the security guard take up something and claw at him. Yeah, man. But him being the strong man and being the man of so-called violent influence in that area, decides uh, the security guard I to go perish for that. Because I diss him, diss him. You don't know all them you the pre-things. And say, yo, I diss you, diss the Dan and I diss you, diss the general. Because him do feel like uh, illegal trades. Up in the banana pen lane, there so. So I really go on now. In the night now, the man them decides say them I go left work. Him and the youth from Papine. So the youth from Papine was identified as Anthony Palmer, otherwise known as Bird. So the two of them stand up at the bus stop and decide say them I go jump in a taxi. Little did they know that. The old dirty corner boy from up in a banana pen lane. Plan with him dirty friend them to come slap them way. Well, slap him way, the security guard. So it would have seen as if the next man will get touched. Him just at the wrong place, at the wrong time, at that type of something they reach him. So what go on is that the man them plan out the thing well and say, all right, him I go come off of work X or Y time and him have to take a taxi. So the man them go so back now and get a pro box. And plight the road as a taxi and come stop at the man them foot. So the man them go so back now and pick them up. And just as the man reach a theme stop, because you know, say, him come from Wellington Street in a Denham town. So that is the security guard. So him decides, say, I'm going to jump off of the taxi right at King Street, there, so, and North Street and just walk go down a theme yard. So up and exiting the car now. The old dirty corner boy were in at the taxi with them. Pop off him chaps and slap two bam bam to the head and shoop them out of the car. So I saw them two man they end up in at the Kingston Central Police Division and drop and feed them last a life tally. So that is the understanding where on the spot news media get. But we get to understand says Zico is not a bad boy. As I say, him is a working man, a security guard, come from Wellington Street. And right now, the brother there, gone left him kids. Yeah, man, me I tell you, gone left him kids them without a mother. Because the mother of his children left the island some time ago and has been in America since then. So basically, him is a single father. So, him gone left. A one girl who is 18 years old and two boys that is age 16 and 6 years old respectively. And the day before he met his demise was his youngest son's birthday. So can you imagine how those kids are feeling right now for no said them breadwinner and their only parent that is on the island with them is no longer amongst the land of the living. Courtesy of the old dirty corner boy of them. Boy, may I tell you, all them boy I do, I just go around and mash up some families. Now, a working father, a contributor to society, is no longer amongst the land of the living. Courtesy of them old dirty corner boy. So as I said yesterday, the other man that was in the car with him, Anthony Palmer, otherwise known as Bird, we're coming from Upper Papi inside there, so Upper Riverview. So the two of them has been identified. So watch this now, my peeps. Yesterday I made mention of a female that met her demise courtesy of the old dirty corner boy, them same way, up in the Mark Lane area, a Fletcher's Land at the Upper Mark Lane. 
So yesterday she was unidentified, but we ascertained her identity also, and we are bringing that also to the members of John Public so they can know what really take place. So that female, as I say, has been identified as 50-year-old Sharon Joseph. We have not ascertained a photograph of Miss Sharon Joseph as yet. As soon as we get that, that will definitely be posted. So the female cook shop operator became the third last alive victim in the Kingston Central Police Division within a 14-hour period. After she was brutally taken out, whole heap of knockings and clappings may talk about inside her home on Mark Lane around noon Friday. So basically, the security guard them thing go on Thursday night in the wee hours close to Friday early morning and fear thing go on Friday in the midday brawling middle day type of thing. So she has since been identified as 50-year-old Sharon Joseph. Reports that Joseph was at home when she was pounced upon by the old dirty corner boy them who opened fire, hitting her all over the upper body. She was rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital where she was pronounced, you know what? So you don't know how that thing they set up in the Central Kingston Police Division. That's up. So one resident said that it appears though as the woman met her demise because of an ongoing issue with relatives who reside at the same location. Other neighbors, especially women, gathered in groups at different sections of the community speaking in hush-hush tones as all we would have said in Jamaica apparently about the said incident that took place. The Kingston Central Criminal Investigation Branch has commenced an investigation into the last life of that 50-year-old woman. Investigations are also probing the double last life that took place Thursday night at the intersection of King Street and North Street. So my peeps, the thing look away. Yeah man, may I tell you. Down in the Kingston Central there, them end 2021 with a bang. And open it with a whole heap of bang, 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 same way. The man them a deal with the thing, crab it down the man. Man them a deal with the thing, a way. But my peeps, just remember, once there is life, there is hope. And the hashtag for 2022 is the preservation of life. And for we do that, we have to get rid of some of them old dirty kind of boy. So we can continue to preserve life. So anyway, my peeps, happy Sunday. Remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.